Hey people, just a quick video on how to improve the graphics on your PS5. Now first, before we move on to the settings that you want to change, you do want to have the best TV or monitor to play your PS5 on. And this is a TV that can have game mode and a monitor that can have FPS mode. And also you want them to both be 1 millisecond refresh rate and 120 hertz. Now they're the best TVs to play the PS5 on. And obviously you want it to be 4K and HDR compatible. So if that's your TV, then you're on a good footing already. But you can still improve the graphics by heading up to the settings here at the top, coming up to accessibility, and then display and sound. You want to come down to high contrast, and you want to toggle this to be on. This will make all the colours pop on your screen. This is well worth giving a go to see if it improves the graphics on your TV or monitor. So once you give that a try and seeing if that improves anything, you want to come back out into the main settings and then come down to screen and video and then you want video output and if you select video out information you'll see all the information about your monitor mine's not currently correct as i'm connected to this screen recorder however as you can see it tells you the resolution and if hdr is compatible and 4k etc so once you've seen all that information and you know what monitor you're dealing with you can come back into the main video output information and you can change the resolution here and I'd always set this to the highest one, but if it doesn't look right, then start slowly bringing it down to where it looks right. You can turn the VRR on. You can change the Hertz output. Obviously I always have this on automatic. And you can change the 4K video transfer rate. I always leave this to automatic. Always seems to work best. And you can come down to the HDR. If your monitor supports this, I'd definitely have this on. And then we can come down to deep color output. You can select this to be automatic. This again makes the colors and everything on your monitor pop and in the RGB range. Again, I'd leave this to automatic. And that is how to get the best out of the graphics on your PS5. And if you improved your graphics, let us know in the comments below.